Hi everyone, it's Laura Laws, and I am wearing my dress for embarkation day on the cruise right now because in five days, sadly, we are not getting on the Disney cruise. We just, I'm gonna recap it real quick for you and then we're gonna get into the Disney packing cruise video because I already packed some of my stuff. I packed our day bag, I packed my toddler's bag and all of my Disney jewelry. I didn't think we'd be going to Disney this summer. My husband said he could go the beginning of December with work and then things change. So he's like, I think this is my only week um, for a vacation until next year. So we weren't keen on the idea of heat and hot August in Disney, but you know what? It's Disney and we loved it. So a little over, I want to say like 10 or 12 days ago, Disney announced they're going to start sailing. And the very first cruise out of Port Canaveral in the Disney Dream with two stops in Castaway Key. Like my dream cruise, my daughter just turned three, hello kids club. Like it was perfect and our flights matched up perfectly for the cruise. And I felt so good about it, you know, vaccinations, everything's looking on the up and up. And then bad news starts coming out of Florida with the variant and then breakthroughs with vaccinated people. And the past three days I've had just anxiety, I've had trouble sleeping, like just I'm reading the news and I'm trying to figure out like what's the right decision. And I just didn't feel comfortable putting a three-year-old on a ship. I'm sure it would have been fine and like there's still a huge part of me that regrets that I canceled it. And I have to say, Disney's cancellation policy three days before the cruise, your full refund. Like, you know, ama like amazing. I can't believe Disney offered that. I wasn't even sure because it wasn't on the um, cruise app or anything. I had to call them and ask and they were like, yeah. And I was like, well, let me talk to my husband. And yeah, it was um, a very hard decision. I cried a little, but I think it was the right decision for me. Um, I feel like viruses spread pretty quickly on cruise ships. And when we went on a Disney cruise with my mom and my sisters, my mom got really, really sick. Like she was in the room, I think for two days. And then my sister who was with her in the same room got it as well. So long story short, we are not going on the cruise, but I'm sure we're going to be going on one coming up. It would have been my third Disney cruise. I've been on a lot of other cruises as well. Would have been my daughter's first cruise, Disney cruise, everything. And I bought all the Navy stuff. I bought like so much stuff for the cruise because we are five days away from leaving. So that being said, we rebooked Disney. We're going to go to Disney World. I can't believe I got all my reservations, everything. So I'm going to do two packing videos. So I am so excited for this. I have hit a peak Disney jewelry situation. So I was like, I need a travel jewelry case. I got this off Amazon. So it is about a week out from the cruise. Time to switch out my earrings. And then I recently got these from Pura Vida. And I have a discount code if you guys are interested in that. My Tiki Room earrings, I love. Um, this is brand new, which I really love it. It's a cute little, uh, if you can't tell all my Disney stuff, I do like rose gold. So this is a bracelet that you tighten. And then I'm not really a necklace person, but I do have two Disney necklaces as well with my initial, I think this one is just a heart and a rose gold Mickey. So it's all rose gold. I love it. I have other rose gold stuff. Let me show you what these rings look like though because they are so dainty and so, cute. I just love how dainty they are and they have other ones so you can stack them as well. And um, yeah, I just, I think they're so cute and they have really nice bracelets that I might order next. And they're not expensive. I think these were $20 each. So something that is very different between a Disney cruise and a Disney World trip is a day bag. So we actually did not have like a rolling carry-on bag. I looked up a bunch of stuff. I wanted something soft so you could easily get in and out of it like in the airport and on the go and during the day because hard cases are difficult sort of to like 
open and smush your hand in. I went down to Macy's just over the Pennsylvania Delaware border so it was tax free. This was a $300 case, I got it for $90. Um, so I'm so happy with it. It's very light and it's the spinner type wheels. This will be my carry-on bag, which I will get into in just a minute. So let me show you what I'm taking in my Disney Cruise day bag. This is the first thing I want to show you for the travel bag. Say yes to new adventures. You need lots of documents to go on a cruise. Passports, birth certificates if you don't have a passport. And there's like new stuff with your PCR test and your vaccines so all important documents in a folder in our carry-on day bag we arrive in Orlando at 9 30 and we do not board until 2 or we're not allowed in the port until 2 so I made these Mickey tie-dye shirts I did a video on it I will link it for you guys I think they turned out great so my daughter and I are gonna wear matching tie-dye Mickey shirts on the plane and then a jacket so it gets cold at night on the cruise and then some leggings as well so that's our travel out. we won't have access to our bags for a long time we do have to take them on the shuttle we pay for a shuttle to go to the port so we have to take it from the baggage to the shuttle and then they take it from there they sanitize it and then it shows up in our room so you want to bring bathing suits I'm gonna bring a bathing suit and a cover-up I mean how cute is this nautical it looks so adorable in her, this bathing suit. And then a cover-up as well for her. And then I'm going to throw a pair of my husband's trunks in. Something else you need is under 3 ounces sunscreen. So I found that at Target. Yes. And then uh, her natives, which are like her water shoes, sunglasses, extra thing of wipes, diaper, bib, and a changing pad. And then we also because she is three years old. I bring an extra outfit, like just tiny little clothes, usually leggings and a t-shirt. Again, these are the leggings I tie-dyed with a little white shirt as an extra outfit. And yes, I'm doing a third outfit change. So not only travel clothes, but swimsuits, but also embarkation onto the ship to look cute for pictures. Found this at J. Crew. How cute is that with the little pink detailing? You see it in there. Pink bow, brown shoes, and then I got this at Target. It looks really good on, and they actually have a matching one for my daughter, but they didn't have her size, which was kind of a bummer. So, of course, I need my rose gold lounge fly for my cute outfit, and then hopefully my carry-on backpack fits in the carry-on bag when I switch it out. And then I love these. These are so incredibly comfortable. I haven't had these in a long time. Havana's, I think they're called. So it's like nautical with rose gold. I'm dying. So cute. I'm so excited for the cruise. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm packing for my daughter. This is my daughter's stuff that I'm taking. I like to lay it all out so I can get a good feel that if I'm missing anything. You know what's nice about making these packing videos is that I can go back and rewatch them and see if I've missed anything. So let's start with dresses. Just got this brand new princess dress from Shop Disney. They had a sale. And what I love about this, two things, it has no sparkly glitter stuff that goes everywhere like her Tiana and Cinderella dress. And um, the show on the Disney Dream is Belle. So this is going to be the night that we... Um, go and see Belle. I found these awesome princess bows from Target. A whole bunch of them. Different princesses. I'm going to bring a couple of those as well. Dress number one. So this is very dress heavy because I think we'll just wear dresses every night. It's a four night cruise. One of the nights she will be in the kids club. So we really only need four like nicer dresses. So I'm bringing two Lily dresses. Um, and this one I have a matching dress with it. Which if you watched our Daytona Beach wedding video I left him at home wah wah so I've worn my lily dress before but it's gonna be the first time that we've worn them together so I'm not really sure which pink bow to go with so I'm gonna bring both of course now give me all the blue and white stripe and navy situation <laughs> see our sucker she does have a blue and white navy sh dress that you saw that's um, for our embark embarkation day 
one night I decide that we all love seersucker um so we're gonna have like a matching family seersucker night and this is from Old Navy and this is from Old Navy too there's a cute little jumper love blue and white and red together especially for the cruise and I think this is Carter's I saw that so really cute dresses for her and bows for the cruise I am bringing some shorts. Found these at Macy's. I mean, hello. These, she's very tiny on the bottom. She's had these for a while. So, mini shorts, flower shorts, and then a couple jean shorts. So, how many is that? One, two, three, four. Five pairs of shorts. Undies. And then, I love with dresses just to do little biker shorts. It gives them more coverage. So, if they're flailing around on the ground having a moment they're covered so i think i brought five pair of biker shorts and then it could get cold at night so one pair of leggings and then she'll have a pair of jeans for her travel day or maybe leggings i think i'm doing leggings so speaking of cold so she does have her jean jacket which she'll be wearing to travel in and then i picked this up it was cheap at target but i'm hoping they have like cute cruise line sweatshirt that I can get her on the ship. So just some Disney shirts, long sleeve in case it's cold. Disney shirts, Disney shirts, vineyard vines, vineyard vines, and then a white tee that goes with the louder sort of shorts. So that's it for like casual daytime. I don't think it's too much, but you know, kids just get messy and need lots of outfit changes with the beach and swimming. Our nightgowns and PJs are all Disney. So we have a Disney princess PJ tie-dye mini. Got this recently from Shop Disney. She loves Luca. In fact, that was her request for the plane ride down. She wants to watch Luca. She loves, is it Julia? I think it's Julia. This also got this at the same time, like a couple weeks ago or a month. How beautiful. It looks like a dress, but it's a nightgown. And she's a huge fan of Tiana, so Tiana nightgown. I love this. It's a little pouch, and it flips out into a raincoat for her. Here's her shoes that we're taking. I, I guess it's a lot, but, um, I mean, they're so little. So, let's see. Target, 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 Old Navy, Target, Natives. These are new. She um, grew out of her other Natives, so I got the same exact ones. I love these and Walmart. So what I love about this is no need for socks and you know these look great with the whole nautical look. These look great with the lilies. These I wasn't going to bring them but she just calls these her princess shoes for her princess dresses so I knew I had to bring those. And with our tie-dye Mickey so very cute stuff I think. So here is what's in the first aid. Boogie wipes. I just found this actually. I'd never gotten this before. Neosporin on the go. Advil. Nasal spray. Band-Aids. Q-tips. Nose free to Although she's getting really good at blowing her nose. That might be thrown away soon. And just a little first aid kit. I, so she's mostly potty trained. I don't think we're going to need a lot of diapers. But she still sleeps and naps and overnight in diapers. And then travel days too. And then I brought, I got these. She doesn't really use swim diapers, but I figured like if we're at the beach and she needs to poo, I don't know. Disposable changing pads are great for on the go and also in the room to change her diaper like after a nap and stuff. Bed, on the bed. Disposable bibs. This is her crown that we got from Germany in Epcot in the crystal shop to wear that night. Her Tiana crown actually completely broke. We had to throw it away. Water wipes. And then these, um, I have snacks in my bag already for the plane ride down. So this is travel day home and I like to overpack with snacks because you never know when flights are delayed or you're stuck on like the runway or whatever it is. I've heard horror stories. So my sister Carrie got her this and she's like obsessed with it. So it's a little Mickey purse that she got when we stayed at Yacht Club like a year ago. Oh yes, I'm going to bring all of these sunglasses she loves sunglasses and I'm afraid she might lose them. So those I always put in here. 
and we have plenty of options for that. I got her two new books from Target that she hasn't seen yet and she's gonna start school soon when, after our trip when we get back. So I thought those were good ones. Mess free coloring, this is my favorite for in room and sort of like beach vacations. So it's, um, it's completely blank pages and mess free with four different colors. And you can use it as a clipboard too if you're on the go. Got a little sun hat and I figured we would be living in bathing suits and we would have a lot of wet bathing suits. So I bought her extra ones. She has one in her day pack. So this is another one I got. And then these um, ruffle butts is great for if you're all day at the beach with all the coverage. And then of course had to get Ariel bathing suit, Mickey wet brush, bunch of like small bows, ponytails, and the small little ponytails for her. LXO, because I'm gonna be taking her um, Yeti and sippy cups. These are the safety swabs. I need to throw some in here. They're really great. I don't know if you've seen these, but so they won't go in her ear. Pretty cool. She loves brushing her teeth, so I always bring two toothbrushes because she might walk around and lose them. And these were really cute. They have the suction cups, so should be able to stand up and stay cleaner in the bathroom. And then the little covers for them. She likes kids' crafts. This is great for her hair, especially at the beach or in Florida humidity. We are back to masks. I am having anxiety about the Delta variant um mid-august beginning of august it's a little scary so um right now the rule is you have to have your mask on the inside unless you're actively eating or drinking so i got mask like lanyards to go around her neck we have some paper masks so a butterfly mask you know i had a frozen mask from disney but i can't find it and then a bunch of disposable masks, which are actually my favorite. I feel like they're so much more breathable and comfortable than these. So I got her two of these, and I got us some as well. And I think that is it. Let's put all of this in Landon's bag.